It's been a hot minute since Stasis was meta, with the long forgotten Reed regret, but to be honest, you're probably fed up of seeing Banner of War this, needle storm that. Well, there's not a single f strand thread in sight today, and this will mix up the DPS meta for the rest of the season. This one's going under the radar and will get you over 2 million damage in any boss DPS phase, plus it is as easy as pie to set up. It'll delete most things in the game instantly and put you at the top of the DPS chart. Now you've never heard of the Revenant Hunter being a DPS heavy hitter and we'll get into the specifics of the setup in just a moment, but I've got to let you in on this endgame DPS setup first. The Iceman cometh, so it's time to grab your very own Mr. Whippy. Aga's Scepter hasn't even seen any huge changes since its introduction, but its perks still offer huge damage potential, especially with its exotic catalyst. Will Given Form is activated by holding Reload when your super is full, which will then overflow the magazine and increase its damage by 80%. This lasts until you reload, your super is fully drained, or you run out of ammo, which more than makes up for the lacklustre Silence and Squall super, even slowing and freezing targets, adding bonus shatter damage into the mix. This can be increased even further if you add the Whisper of into this setup. However, Aga Scepter's max damage paired with the newly reworked Four Tracer can and will, ironically, melt the faces off your enemies, essentially adding a serious burn factor to enemies, champions, and bosses alike, no matter the level of content. This got a huge change in Season 22 as it effectively grants you a massive 25% weapon damage boost by simply damaging a boss, mini boss, or champion with any ability, highlighting them in the process. This lasts for 10 seconds and can be indefinitely topped up with some well-timed ability spam. Stasis Hunters can have excellent uptime of abilities, especially with the double shuriken melee ability combined with a gambler's dodge. Chuck in a well-placed dustfield grenade and you can easily have over 30 seconds of this endgame weapon buff, which just so happens to be the same length as most boss damage phases. Naturally, Aggers will burn through its overflowed ammo capacity before your super power is fully drained, so I'd highly recommend you chuck on the Whisper of Impetus. This slept on fragment instantly reloads all of your weapons on melee hits and boosts weapon and handling for 5 seconds, which also acts as its base cooldown. Chuck your favourite god rolled stasis rocket launcher into the mix to either start or finish off your damage and you'll be hitting some eye watering numbers. This is all insanely easy to set up and if you mistakenly burn your melees or dodge, you can boost its recharge rate during DPS with the Whisper of Hedrons. Now in terms of the full damage rotation, here's what you want to do. Start off by chucking a grenade to damage the boss and trigger four tracers damage boost and then blast your rockets at them, reloading with a shuriken for one final flurry. Then swap to aggers and activate will given form by holding reload. Keep an eye on your ammo for aggers, chuck a shuriken to reload it or whilst keeping its 80% damage increase and 25% four tracers buff going. Doing so will easily get you over 2 million damage on a boss in any fire team situation with a well of radiance and a good solid debuff like tractor cannon or tether. If you in the bonus optimization of a god rolled cold comfort with bait and switch and pack hunter from Galahorn, you'll be pushing upwards of 3 million for a single damage rotation. This outrageous stasis build might get you kicked from LFG fire teams because it's apparently not meta, however this brand new strand build is, find out why by watching this video next.